That's the really fun part for us is that we get to like interact with everyone through media. It's not just like you're coming to see us perform, like we're all performing together and it creates this amazing energy where everyone in the crowd, whether you know anything about yoga or not, you're going to see the words on the screen so everyone knows what to say and just the energy of like that the, the sacred mantras and stuff like even if you know nothing about yoga you're just gonna feel it man because everyone in the crowd is just chanting and smiling and it's it's so infectious oh and i think doubling up hearing the the names of the gods and then seeing them visually yeah. getting that darshan getting that that um sacred imagery you know, we've been putting in little bits of saints of India, and you know, we just think those those people have so much power. And Shakti just it's said that just a little glimpse of them or a photograph of them can transmit. So we just conceived of this show to just be transmitting, transmitting, transmitting. You know, Shakti and powerful energy at the audience the whole time. Um, Basically, it all comes down to just giving and receiving love. Yeah. And that's like what the purpose of the music is. It's like, when I say this, you say that. So it's like, I'm giving you love, you're giving me love. We're all like coming together in this space of love and just having a blast, having a great time. So you know, there's a saying, when you start to dig a little deeper into the ancient myths, that all the gods are aspects of our very own self. So essentially, we are Ganesh on the deepest, most profound level. And this is important to know because sometimes when we're experiencing some struggle and some stress, the reason is because we're standing in our own way. And we need to get out of the way so that we can step into the heart, out of our head, take a deep breath and feel peace again. So just take a moment to close your eyes and feel that huge elephant getting out of the way so you can just be in your heart. And just take a few deep breaths in and out. Let it be as easy as breathing. Ganesh is very symbolic for us as yogis. He teaches us a lot, just in the, his appearance. You see, Ganesh, your big ears remind us to listen to the still small voice of our own intuition. Your big trunk reminds us to breathe deep so that we can receive the energy we need. Indeed, your small eyes remind us to focus so that we can recognize, realize, and notice that everything around us is divine a reflection of the light that's found inside. And just like the lotus inside your hand, you teach us to be patient as we expand. Whenever I'm unclear and fear or feeling doubt, I just call on Ganesh to help me out. The intelligent vanilla fit, elephant god singing on go Ganapataye Namaha. Om Ganesh. <laughs>